So this is the first ride with the new 510s. Even over these roots, they're pretty grippy. Ooh. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out the Freerider EPS mountain bike shoe. As usual, I'll include links for everything we talk about in the video description below, so be sure to check that out after watching. As I mentioned, these are the EPS version, which is the upgraded Freerider model, and we'll take a look at why I went for these instead of the standard Freerider shoe. Most mountain bikers have heard of the original 510 Freerider. They're really popular, and for good reason. I go riding in all weathers, and I'm no stranger to finishing a ride with my feet soaking wet and muddy. So I need a shoe that can accommodate all my mountain biking environments. And this is why I've gone for the EPS version. In addition to the great comfort and sturdy construction of the Freerider model, the EPS version adds insulation and weather resistance to the classic Freerider design. The shoe's leather outer features water resistance and reduced seams to keep your feet dry. I've had these shoes for the best part of six weeks now, so as well as seeing my first ride in them today, I'll share some wisdom on how I found them over the last few weeks. As well as all the water resistance that these shoes offer, the real reason we all love the Freerider is the sole. The stealth outer sole and dotty rubber tread provide unbeatable grip, even on wet pedals and slippery ground. Perfect for riders using flat pedals. This is something I noticed instantly when putting them on for the first time. You really do get a sense of how grippy they are. But that's fine when you're stationary. Let's put them to the test. Oh, yeah, no problems. So, to give these shoes a proper test, I just took them down the enduro line here in the forest. Um, it was really muddy, really wet, and I'm happy to say my feet are still nice and dry and clean. As you can tell, my first ride in them was amazing. I really got on well with them. They're comfy and they stick to the pedals amazingly. It was also nice to finish a ride with dry feet for a change. In terms of price, the EPS version costs a little more in comparison to the standard Freerider. In my eyes, the extra cost is worth it for the comfort and water resistance alone. As I said, I've left links to both these models down below in the description. Over the last month and a half, I've used these for a lot of riding, and they've been great. They maintain their grip when walking about the trail, and I've pretty much been wearing them for all manner of things. Although, in real terms, I haven't had them that long. So far they appear to be pretty sturdy. There are no loose threads or problems anywhere that I've noticed. I think they're a really comfy and great mountain bike shoe. So I hope you enjoyed my take on the Freerider EPS from 510 and I look forward to seeing you back on the trails pretty soon.